All right, guys, first time trying off the camera this way. Sorry, it's dark in here. My wheels just came. Oh, come on, come on. Now, I'm still getting used to the camera, guys. Still working with like the white balance and stuff, so it's gonna be off for a little bit. Yeah. So, let's check this out. Look at these packages I had to sign for them. I was so excited. They're heavy, two wheels in each box. And uh, the lugs should be in one of the boxes because one of the boxes weighed. Yeah, this one is, I'm not gonna show you guys my address, but uh, this one is 61 pounds and the other one is like 64 or something like that. So I'm beyond excited. I'm gonna prop this open and get these put in. Huge. Huge point for the channel, guys. Seriously, like huge point. All right, everybody, so I'm gonna go ahead and open them up right now. Oh, there they are, oh my God. Those look so nice. Oh my God, let me get that out. Let me get, let me get that out of here. So we have the installation kit right here. We have the hub centric rings, and oh my god. All right. All right, guys. The moment I've been waiting for since the day I got my car. Taking off the wheel cover here. If I would have bought pre owned ones, I would have never got to do this. Hopefully I'm doing it right. That's so awesome, they look so good. I wanted this style rim so badly, so that's why I went with the gold, and I feel like it's gonna look good on my car in the summertime. And, uh, but my end goal is I'm probably gonna get them professionally powder coated. There's a local place here who'll do it for 100 bucks a wheel. They have great, uh, great reviews, five star reviews, and um, I'm gonna have them do them satin black, I spoke with them. Probably sometime in the summer, maybe. I don't know, I wanna rock with these though and see how they look first before I actually do it, because if I love it, I'll keep these and then probably get another set of black ones just like these. But they were out of stock of the AV1 blacks, so these are the AV1 gold. Um, and I would've had to wait a couple months and I didn't wanna wait. Oh my God! That is so, oh, that looks so good! And these are 5 by 114.3, which everyone says a lot of Grand Prix owners run. So, oh my god. That looks so good. And the center cap is like chrome. I'm going to dip that black. I don't like the chrome, but man, that's cool. From Car ID is actually who I ordered it from. So, pretty awesome. Yep. Got my new lugs, and uh, I'm gonna put them on, I'm gonna have them just put them on how they are, but I'm gonna end up painting these uh, black, to go, and I'm gonna paint the center cap black eventually, and then the valve stems. And then, yeah, that's it for inside the box. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. And then we got the hub centric rings, obviously. So I'm gonna put this all back together, and the next time you guys see me will be on my very last shot of my black wheels on my car, my stock factory um, knockoff Forge Delcoa. No, they're not Forge, they're the knockoff version. And then these beasts will be on. They look more like orange, orange bronze in the <clears throat> in the video because it's like the coloring in here. But trust me, they're bright gold. They're sweet. Still super cold as you can hear from the engine, but we got it all packed up. And Got both the boxes in there. We're gonna go get my new wheels installed, guys. Last look at the stock ugly ones. <laughs> um, yeah, ugly wheels. Um, the only ones I like on these stock, like I've mentioned before, are the actual forged Alcoa ones. I actually really like those. I'd like to get 18 by eights of those all around. That'd be pretty cool to have for like a winter set and just keep them chrome. But these are not the forged ones, as you can see. So they're going bye-bye, and uh, I'm really excited. 
GTP hasn't even been started in like a week and a half. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a cold start of that later to cap off the video. All right guys, so this lens does have some like scuffs on it, but I knew that when I bought it, as you can probably tell in the video, in the sunlight, um, but I'm just gonna get a new Canon, uh, like a, probably a wide angle lens. My end goal is to get a wide angle anyways, so not really a big deal. All right guys, I don't think you're ready for this reveal. They look so, oh, they look so good. They're 18 by eight all the way around, five by 114.3 and uh, 35 millimeter offset. Oh, there they are. God, look at those things. I cannot quit smiling. They actually look pretty good. What color should I uh, paint my calipers? Should I leave them red? Should they go black or what? Oh, it looks so good. It actually does. Like, it looks decent. The car definitely needs more low now. It definitely needs to be lower, but I think they look pretty good. All right, yeah, the car needs to be lower, but I think the yeah the wheels they fit a bit better now. They're definitely more out flush. Like the back sit really far out. I don't know why the back sit more out than the front, but they're pretty much even, and that looks so. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Uh, my end goal is I probably will end up powder coating them satin black with like a medium gloss finish probably around June, but I'm gonna rock the gold for a little bit for sure. It definitely looks cool, it's different. The car needs more low, it was 70 bucks for them to mount it. The car smells like coolant a little bit right now, but you know what, it looks so good. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna take a couple pictures here and then we will be on our way. Oh yeah, that's cool. Uh, for the most part, it's unique. And uh, let's take a step back here. Ooh, fuck, got snow on my shoe. But yeah, that looks good. I like that actually, that looks really good. That looks actually better than I was expecting it to be. So I'm thinking I'm gonna be painting the calipers black. I feel like that would go good because the center caps and the lugs are gonna be black. I'm gonna paint those black. So I figured I could paint the, probably the caliper black. Unless there's a different color that you guys think I should paint the caliper, uh, let me know. I'm not gonna paint it like gold. That would be like too much. Um, I'm not gonna put any gold accents on the car. Um, just the wheels is all I want, and it actually looks really good. I don't even know if I'm gonna be uh, painting them black. I, I'm really liking them, and I think it's gonna look even better when the car is lowered about an inch and a half, two inches. About it, I'd say an inch and a half in the front, two inches in the rear. The rear is up pretty high still, but it still has to settle, because I know my shocks are still up a little bit higher too, because they suck. Oh yeah, the rear settled a lot now that I just pushed on them. Well, not like a crazy amount, but it definitely settled a little bit. And it's going to settle some more. They said it's definitely higher than when they jacked it up. <sighs> but I cannot wait to lower it. It's, it. It looks awesome. The wheels look so good. Like from the back, they're beefy. You can somewhat see the rubber, which is awesome. That's what I wanted. I am so happy with my wheels right now. And they kind of match my DBP squad sticker I got right there when Derek Barron Productions had like... Whenever he did that, he had like a thousand subscribers or something. And he said, message him if you want a sticker for free. And I did, and he sent me one. Still have the letter from him, too. Um, but yeah, they kind of match that. It looks kind of cool. Um, lowering springs are probably next, or my cold air intake. Uh, I bought a cold air intake from someone. I used one on Ellis 4 Nation. Um, he's in Canada. He's going to be shipping it. I'm paying him on Friday. Uh, it was like 90 bucks with shipping total. Like, so 90 bucks shipped for a K&N cold air intake in good condition. Um, so I'm pretty excited. But uh, that's the car. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, that's going to do it for this video.